What is going on guys? DBG here and today guys we're going to be going over a new takeover card. I actually didn't think we were going to be getting one. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think we were going to be getting a takeover card and I assume I assume he is now in the uh No, nope, my available prize is still there and Williams in the draft. I, say, I assume he's in the draft, but nah. The damn worst game mode ever. But um yeah, so lads, the card is a really really good player. So we look at him it is season one takeover players i didn't get parker because well i just didn't really want to get parker parker's good though andrew wiggins so andrew wiggins is freaking nice lads he's is he not six eight either way six seven is a fine hyper small forward fast switch limitless take off pogo 25 goals including like midi magician corner specialist quick first step challenger glove gold he only gets clamps and silver, but that doesn't really matter that much. The clamp breaker beats clamps anyway. He's not going to play pure lock. Interceptor on silver. So his badges are pretty good. What badges does he need? Obviously, he needs the post badges. He doesn't have any post badges. So for him to play in my team, he needs post badges. But like, if I'm looking at him as a small forward, is there any? Like for my actual squad, um... Like, I'm going to be getting Scotty very soon. Wait, who's got, who's not in my squad? Livingston? There we go. But um, I'm going to be getting Scotty very soon. And Scotty's going to come in for Carmelo. And the only issue is, is he doesn't really have a spot in my team right now. If he could play at the shooting guard position, he would definitely be in my squad straight away. But he doesn't play that shooting guard position. He's a little bit iffy. He's a little bit iffy. But again, like... It's only because of the amount of the great cards we have. So he's got decent post control, mediocre post up and fade away. Like he'll post up a point guy, basically. And that's all you really need him for. He's got 84 three ball, 88 mid, which is good. 95 driving dunk again, which is really, really good. And Wiggins release is quality, lads. It's quality. 86 ball handle. Really good defense. 93 speed, 86 speed ball, 93 acceleration, and 90 lateral. Like that's a really good card. That is a really, really good card. And then, um, let's just take a look at what Wiggins is like in terms of play now. In terms of his releases. As far as I remember, it's a um, it's a really, really good release. So, Warriors. Congrats to Wiggins getting his new contract, by the way. Congrats. Um, yeah, look, that is, uh, that, like, that is a top-tier release. It's not the fastest. I'm telling you, lads, as far as, like, ease ability to green... This is how it looks. And yeah, no, this is top tier. This is freaking top tier. Okay, so let's see how long it's how long it's gonna take to get Wiggins. I'm hoping that it's like a four hour or less job. Ah, two number one overall picks from uh, the Timberwolves. Well, technically the Cavs, but still. Uh, well, I actually do need to beat the, <laughs> to beat that one. Um, I still need to beat all of these. I still need to do these challenges to get my Scotty. Because Andrew Wiggins' takeover is not a thing. Oh, I know. It's it's in freaking lifetime. It's going to be in lifetime agenda. Does that make sense? Because it's going to be there till next Tuesday. Just like Odin was in lifetime agendas. I remember for a while when we saw Odom in Lifetime Agendas, we thought to like play 35 games and like the stuff, we basically thought it was a guarantee we were going to get Odom. And then it was like, oh, expires this day. And we're like, oh crap, this is going to be every Friday now. I thought Odom was going to, I thought every couple of weeks they were going to put one that we were basically guaranteed to get. And then a bunch of challenges that we were able to get takeover players. So yeah, Andrew Wiggins takeover is here. Okay, that's easy. That's easy. That's really easy. That's really easy. So basically 10 games. Um, holy crap, this is like an hour and a half. So the 79 dunks, um, 33 points and four steals with a small forward in a game. In any of these semi-pro challenges, you can do that because four steals seems really bad, but if you've got gold glove playing on semi-pro, you're going to get four steals. Heck, you can probably, if you really want to rush this, you can probably do it in like the Rodman challenge and just let them score twos all the time. Get your four seals early and bait a 33 point TTO game. Super easy. This is so easy. 
79 dunks is 10 games. It's about 10 games of um, PT offline. Or you can get, you see these here. There's the five dunks. Is the five dunk challenge with a single player? Um, what do you get? Athleticism? Oh, it's five dunks a team. So you can get your 50 dunks very, very easily. So while doing the other things, um, in terms of lifetime agendas, where is he? Hey, girl, players, here we go. Um, 17.16 rebounds Warriors playing in single game. Easy. Super easy. You can do it again. You can do that while also getting five dunks with a player. 33 points, four steals. You can do that on the semi pro challenge. 44 points and seven rebounds with a single, with a Kimmel's player. You can literally combine these two in one game. So these two and this is probably going to take you about 25. Probably going to take you about 25 minutes to do all three. You can do all three in one game. You can do all three, especially if you have a Scotty Pippen, you can very easily do all three in the one game of these. And not only all three in one game, in one half, 24 minute half. It's about half an hour to do all of these. And then you've got 79 dunks. And then on your way to doing these, you can get one of these particular ones done. But you also have, say, 33 points. That's 15 dunks. 47, that's a bunch more dunks, 17 points. Okay, so you can get easily get 30 dunks. If you go and get dunks with these guys, you've got like 30 dunks. And it takes maybe, that might add an extra eight or nine minutes. I might be at about 40 minutes. And then at about 40 minutes, you are at a stage where all you have to do is get 45 dunks. Win five games of five Timberwolves players. Literally play the dunk challenge, get five dunks. Play the dunk challenge, get five dunks 10 times. So you're looking at the easiest takeover grind for probably the third, fourth best. Like Kemp, better. Mitchell, probably better. And Anthony Edwards, maybe better. But like Wiggins is that dude as well. Um, you're looking at potentially... And I will say it that what's his name is better. Um, Iguodala is better. But like... As far as Wiggins is, like, Wiggins is one of the top, like, eight or nine small forwards in the game. And this is, like, 90 minutes. And Wiggins has Jordan dribble style as well with the Kobe escape. Like, obviously, the Kobe escape doesn't matter that much this year because dribbling doesn't matter. But still, still, you're looking at one of the best players in the, one of the best Garrett wings in the game. And he's, like, 90 minutes. And you might be saying, oh, but, like, you need, like, a bunch of players. And it's, no, you freaking don't. You need 30 tokens. If you have 30 tokens, you can do this with ease. You can do this with ease. Like, let's just see easy players to do it with the Warriors. First of all, um, players, team. There's definitely cheap guys in the Warriors. Um, this Wilt will get you easy dunks. Kaminga should get you really easy dunks for the Warriors. Driving like 80. Yep. As far as steals with a small forward, just do it when you're using... Just do it with any small forward you can get. Like, there are a lot of, again, positions. Um... How do I reset this? Um, position small forward. If you want your easy steals at a small forward, spend your 3,000 MT on Bruce Bowen. Super, super easy. Um, because he's going to have a really... He's going to get a lot of steals. And obviously, you have the Warriors players who are very, very easy as well to get. And then, in terms of Timberwolves players, if you want to score with Timberwolves players, um, I don't know if any of these are going to be the greatest for scoring, for dunking. I'm not going to lie. You might have to go a little bit more expensive... But then again, there's Cat and Rudy Gobert. Centers are really easy to dunk with. You can dunk with Nazareth if you really want to. And then if you do have the coinage, go and get Spreewell. It's super, it becomes super easy. Like, this is the easiest. The easiest we have gotten so far. Mad how easy it is. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.